All right, let me get my pen going here. Okay, you can read the question yourself. And that's right up here. The perimeter of an isosceles triangle is 94 feet. Each of the congruent sides is two feet more than four times as long as the base. Find the length of each side of this triangle. And again, it's an isosceles triangle. Well, knowing it's an isosceles triangle, that tells us that each of these sides, which are called legs, are congruent to each other. Down at the bottom, we have what's called the base. I'm going to go ahead and call that B. Now, the key to writing an equation to solve this thing is look at this sentence right here. It is comparing parts of the triangle. Now, in any kind of word problem, when you have to use algebra to solve for the missing um, whatever they're asking for, the key is to look for a sentence like this where they're comparing two or more things. Um, what you want to do is give the last thing mentioned, in this case, base, give that the variable first. Okay, and then we're going to work backwards. So over in my diagram, the base is this side here that is not congruent to the other sides. And I'm going to call that B. You could also call it X or whatever letter you want. Now if I work backwards, it says four times as long as the base. So these legs of the isosceles triangle are four times as long. So that would be 4B. Okay, now we work backwards through the sentence two feet more than four times as long as the base. So each of these now is going to be called 4B plus 2. Okay, so you read the question and you have to work backwards and figure out how to label the parts. Now we're going to solve the equation. Okay, we know that all three sides, 4B plus 2, the other 4B plus 2, and the base itself, which is just B, that whole thing, the perimeter is 94, because the perimeter, of course, when you add everything together. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and combine all my like terms. I have a 4B there, a 4B there, and a B there. That's 8B plus 1, 9B. Okay, and then I have this 2 and that 2, which is going to give me 4, of course. So 9B plus 4 equals 94. Make sure you subtract the constant 4 from each side. Okay. Obviously we did that so the 4's would cancel out and give us 0. So 9B equals 90. Pretty simple now. Divide each side by 9 and I get B is 10. Catch up with my writing here. Okay, now obviously we want to reread the question to make sure. Find the length of each side of the triangle. Well, the base is going to be 10, and if I put 10 where the B's are in each of the legs, 4 times 10 is 40, 40 plus 2 is 42. Okay, I'm going to change colors. Let's do a quick double check here. We'll make it blue. So if the base is 10 and this leg is 42, this other leg is 42. When you add those together, do you get 94? Yes, you do.